right, ladies and gentlemen, or should I say Lokis and gentlemen, today, as you know, is your Loki day. Now, this is the final, sadly, final episode in the Loki series. Just kidding, there's a season two. So, as you know, this is spoiler alert. Um, we are jumping into the last of the first season of Loki because, um, yeah, they want to make money off of this series. So they've already decided to make a two, maybe even a third season out of Loki because merchandising. But yogurt. What is this place? What is it that you do here? Merchandising. So, in this episode, we have a little bit, not a whole lot like going on, but a whole lot does happen. So, what happens in this episode? Um, well, we find out who is the bad guy. And it is Kane, but not Kane. Kane the Conqueror has always had, um, he, he's kind of a nexus being, let's just say it like that. He can jump from this timeline to that timeline. Wibbly wobbly, timey wimey stuff. Or if you will, uh, this multiverse to this multiverse. And there are different versions of him just like in any multiverse. But he's kind of uh, not the Kane the Conqueror that you might know from the comic books. He's kind of just a guy doing stuff. Um, so when we enter the door, um, because we're off to see the wizard apparently, um, we get through the door, the little time thing pops up and says, oh, hey, you guys are here. Great. Who rang that bell? We did. Can't you read? Read what? The notice. What, what notice? notice? It's on the door, as plain as the nose on my face. It's it, oh, oh. And so, he's definitely running the TVA, um, the little time thing is there, talking to them, trying to kind of distract him a little bit. Doesn't really work, they keep moving on, and we find out that it's just some dude. Um, we do know that this guy is supposed to be playing Kane the Conqueror, so I am assuming that this is one of the many versions of Kane. Now, does that mean that this is Kane the Conqueror from the comic books, or is this one of the multiple variants of such character? That is to be uh, determined in the next season. So, um, as far as we know, this is Kane the Conqueror but not confirmed. So they go and try and kill him. He says, well, if you kill me, I'll just come back, be basically be reincarnated. Um, everything will just kind of restart with me being new. So um, in that section, they're fighting each other. There's something I ought to tell you. Tell me. I'm not left-handed either. In the other at the TVA where Morbius goes to hang out and try and fix everything, um, he's dealing with the judge and kind of saying, you know, everything was a lie and all that kind of stuff and that kind of starts to work itself out 
And then we jump back, kind of jump back to the castle with Kane and Loki and uh, Sylvie. And um, they are fighting. Loki doesn't want to kill Kane because if he kills Kane, then everything gets reset. Uh, so he says, and um, might screw stuff up. So they can either become a part of the TVA, work for this guy, or they can kill him and see what happens. So they end up killing him. Um, the branches at the end of time, basically, where Cain was, uh, start to branch off. You can literally see them branching off. And then at the TVA, Morbius and them see the branching off of these timelines. There's too many of them, they can't do anything about it. Um, they have to try and figure that out. And then Loki, after they kill this guy, comes back to the TVA and Mobius doesn't know who he is. Uh, he turns around and instead of being like kind of a Cain the Conqueror statue that was always kind of there in the background in the library scene, you have um, this version of Cain the Conqueror as the leader so i'm not sure what's going to happen um i'm pretty sure that we're going to have another time war or multiverse war if you will because um that's what he said would happen anyways because he killed off all of the multiverses and clipped all of the variants that caused his other variants to happen so therefore now that they're no longer being under control there are variants of of uh, everyone so the question is what happens next it pretty much ends with him looking at the statue being oh my gosh he was right he did renew himself or get reincarnated or a different version of him has taken over. We don't know exactly what's going on, but we do know that there will be a second season because at the very end, there's a stamp that says, Loki will return in Loki season two. Um, the, the series overall, I would say, was good it was entertaining did it have its faults yes did it have flaws sure um am i excited about a number two season two yes and no um i wish that they would have given us a little more closure in season one but they want to play the long game so that's understandable um, if they come out with, uh, Loki season two within the next year, will I watch it? Yes, of course. Um, and I'll also do videos on it if they get that far. So with that being said, guys, that is the end of the Loki season one run. Um, I will probably be doing, I believe, um, what if is the next thing on Disney. Of course, we have the Suicide Squad movie coming out uh, soon, in like two, three weeks, I think. And then we have um, other series coming up after that, of course, I will be covering. If there is any series that's on Disney or Hulu that you want me to cover, or any movies that you guys want me to cover, I do also do this thing called that won't fly where I take movies that I believe aren't culturally accepted anymore and show their flaws but also they're usually comedies and I usually find something in them that make them redeemable 
So if you guys have any movie reviews that you want me to do, any uh, TV shows that you think that I should review, watch and review, let me know in the comments below. If you want to uh, follow any of my videos, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button. If you guys want to see the beginning of this Loki series, I will put the link to the playlist right up here for you. So with that being said, guys, thank you for sticking with me throughout the Loki series. So with that being said, peace.